Welcome back to the Anaheim Ducks GM mode. Time to finish off season one, the regular season. As of now, we are not in a playoff position, but our season has just been tainted with injury after injury. Who did we have? We had Gibson injured. We had Getzlav injured. Um, I, can't, I can't even remember all the injuries that we had to go through. But we finally have a healthy team. I'm not going to make any drastic changes until the deadline. We have two months to go till the deadline. And, I mean, you look at the lineup we have. There's no way in hell a healthy team, this team, does not make the postseason. Defensively, you know, in terms of defense, we could get better. You know, no doubt about it. We could be a better defensive team in terms of just the overall players we have. But I don't think the record is good just because of the fact that we had so many injuries. You can't really look at that and say we're not a good team. We got January and February until we got to go through the deadline. And I'm going to go right up until the deadline. I want to start simulating right away. I want to take a look. Are you kidding me right now? This is absolutely insane. I come back within the first game. We get another injury. Okay, I changed up the team once again. You have got to be kidding me. This is absolutely insane. I, c I have injury that 15. I'm going to put it down to 10. I don't... 15 is pretty low in my opinion. Um, absolutely unreal. The amount of injuries we had in the last episode and already within two games, we get two injuries. An injury per game. Unbelievable. I can't believe this. We might not even make the playoffs and we might absolutely... We're really going to waste away a season of Kessler, Getzlav, and Perry because the game wants to absolutely fuck us over with injury after injury. Three games, three injuries in this episode. Here we go. Cam Fowler's available to play. Thank God. Luckily, we have a week off just to hopefully, like, heal up some players. Silverberg is available to play. Thank God. All right, all we need... You kidding me? He just came back and now Silverberg is injured again. This is insane. We've had four games played and we've had four injuries. Kessler is available to play. How many times am I going to have to redo this lineup? We got a game done with no injury. What is going on? I... Oh my god. I am speechless. We get another injury within a few games. I'm turning injuries down again. Silverberg's available play. At this point, I'm just going best lines. This is absolutely crazy. Scouting. Okay, I get, I get something different to do than lineup changes. That, that's fun. <laughs> so, Russia, I guess we'll go to Russia for scouting. What were we doing? Were we doing defense? I'm pretty sure we were doing defense. Um, yes, injuries. I cannot believe the amount of injuries. I haven't even been paying attention to if we've been winning or not. So Kessler is available to play. Okay, I gotta do some roster moves and then we'll take a look at the team record. Once again, we do have a healthy team now. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but... We are one point out of the wild card position behind Arizona. Um, we're finally above 500, which is nice to see. So this month we got lost. We got three, four, five, six. So we're six and three. Uh, six and four. Okay, not too bad. But again, another month that is just tainted with injuries. So Luke Shen... Um, you know what? Let me edit this trade. I just want to see... Uh, let me take a look. Let me take a look at how he's doing over here. So Luke Shen, yeah, no. I, I don't want to give up a third round pick for that. I'm going to decline that trade. Can we please 
just have one month of a healthy team. Uh, Thomas Vanek, no, I'm not going to take on another old guy, especially for a first-round draft pick. Um, yeah, injuries to the minor team, I am perfectly fine with right now. Two overtime losses and two wins to begin the month. Another victory. Okay, this is looking nice. This is looking like the type of team that I thought I had assembled. Um, a loss, that's fine, that's fine. Um, who is this? So, Bo Bennett. Uh, 26 years old, a depth player. You know what, why not? How old is he? 26. Either way, a depth player put him in the minor league. Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll claim him. Um, another victory, another victory. Okay, this is looking like the Anaheim team I know of. A loss, that's fine. Two losses, just don't get on a losing streak now. Just make sure you come back with some victories here. Uh, so who, what do I want to scout now? Uh, do forwards for a little bit? I don't think I was doing forwards before. I don't think I was. But um, three losses in a row. Come on, Anaheim. Don't fall into a losing streak. You get a win. Get a couple wins here before the deadline to show me you do not need me to make any trades. I would prefer to hang on to some assets. I'd prefer to hang on to draft picks if possible. Uh, Garrison, one year left on a deal. Ooh, this might be um, interesting. 81 overall for Jason Garrison. We'd give up two, uh, two draft picks for a rental. I'm going to have to decline. I'd love to get him, but that's a little bit too much. Uh, 30, 27, and 7. Are we in a playoff position right now? I hope we are. I really hope we are. Um, it looks like we are. It looks like uh, we're pretty firmly in a playoff position. I'm happy about that. So, yeah, we are. Let's go to, let's just go to the Eastern Conference. Who else is fighting for the uh, wild card position? Or the, uh, the uh, West Conference, my bad. So, yeah, so it looks like we're pretty comfortable in making the postseason. Dallas, Calgary, they're both, you know, a solid couple games behind us. We do have more games played, however. But, um, especially if we can keep a healthy team moving forward, I don't see why we would not make the postseason. Let's just check up on um, all this, the statistics of the players. So, goalies, Gibson, how's he playing? 0.94, 2.6, you know, not too bad. He's playing decent. Um, Cam Fowler is playing amazing. He's got a lot of points. Lindholm, he's got 20 on the season. Jolmerson and Montour have got around 10. Same with Manson. Uh, what about forwards here? Uh, again, I don't even know how to look at this. We've just had... So many injuries. Camilleri, he's been playing good, but he's with Getzlav and Perry. So, you know, obviously those numbers are going to be inflated. Uh, Perry, 62 games played, 46 points. Uh, with Getzlav, only 33, but 27. So, when he's playing, he's around point a game. Uh, where's Kessler? Uh, same with him. He, he For the amount of games he's played... You know, he's got a good number of points. Uh, 24 goals, which is incredible to see. Raquel, Camilleri, Cogliano all have above 10. Vermet, Henrique look like they're going to get to the 10 goal mark. Uh, Richie might get to the 10 goal mark as well. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna keep the team how it is. Again, everything about Anaheim is just tainted because of the injuries. I have no idea how good the players or the team truly is. But as long as we stay healthy, I guarantee we are going to be in the postseason. As long as we stay healthy, I can guarantee it. There's a victory, two victories. Are we going to get on a winning streak? Here we go. Let's get it, baby. Four game winning streak. We get a loss. All good. All good. Just come back with a victory against St. Louis. So... Done with the scouting assignment. All right. Um, let's go to the United States. Why not go a month there for forwards? So Kessler has been injured with a concussion. Brutal. Kessler is going to be out for a while. Hopefully we can continue winning without him. 
Um, yeah, 37 wins now. We only have two losses in the month of March. Uh, very good to see. We've been winning a lot. Kessler is already available to play again. Uh, very happy to see him have a quick return back to the lineup. Let's put him in the lineup. Uh, there we go. Put him right back to where he was. Get the lineup looking all good. There we go. Now, yeah, so only three losses. We had a... We're winning. We're winning. Like I said, if we have a healthy team, we are going to be a really solid team. Let's get a couple wins. Hopefully, we can get home advantage uh, in a couple of the rounds here. Hopefully, we can win a couple of the late games. Maybe we can't. Uh, we do end up with a win against Arizona. That is good to see. Let's just go until the playoffs come along. All right, we are going to be going against the Edmonton Oilers. So, the old uh, Anaheim Ducks against the young Edmonton Oilers. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, so, how did we finish here? How did we finish? Let me take a look at all of that. Um, so we got Anaheim against Edmonton, St. Louis against Chicago, LA against Minnesota, and Winnipeg against San Jose. And then we got uh, Pittsburgh against Montreal, Tampa against New York, New York against uh, or the Islanders, and then uh, the Rangers against Carolina, Boston against uh, Ottawa. Very interesting matchups. Uh, not any real surprises that came into the uh, bracket, I don't think. There's not really any surprises at all. Uh, I don't know why the game's being so slow here. Um, but let's just go to statistics here. I'm not going to take a look at the players, but I will take a look at how Anaheim did. So, we had 2.8 goals for per game. Not too shabby, and we had 2.7 goals against per game. That is a bit high, but again, Gibson was injured for a bit. Uh, we had a big uh, injury on the defensive end for a bit. The power play, 16%. Not terrible, but not great. And then the penalty kill, 83%. Again, not terrible, but not great. Even with the injuries, you know, that kind of makes me feel better about those percentages. Um, it really does. But... We got the regular season done. Wasn't too much to do. The video went by pretty quickly. If you have any suggestions on lineups, please let me know. I will do that off camera and show you at the beginning of the next episode. And then we're going into the postseason against Edmonton. Now, the biggest X factor is injuries. <laughs> I don't even know if it's an X factor at this point. Um, are we going to be able to stay healthy? If we do, I like our chances against any team. Any team I like our chances against. Um, but as long as we can stay healthy. I don't know what type of team Edmonton is going to have. It is uh, only season one, keep in mind. So, you know, I, I don't expect there to be too many changes in terms of other teams around the league. I do, I do expect other teams to make trades, but... I don't expect them to be, the roster and the, to, and the lineup to be just dramatically different than what we're used to seeing. But either way, I will catch you in the next episode when we go against Edmonton in round number one. And hopefully, it's the beginning to a pretty deep playoff run. Thank you for watching very much.